For some North Texans, Christmas is a time to give back to their communities. Organizations across North Texas helping others have a happy holiday today, or trying anyway. Fox 4's Rebecca Butcher is live with a look. Rebecca. Well, it's been a Merry Christmas for the unsheltered community as well as veterans with organizations responding to the need for food as well as good cheer. Well, on Christmas Day, multiple nonprofits and churches gave away hot meals and toys to children. Santa Land set up over there so once they eat, they can take their children over to Santa Land. Also at Santa Land are groceries. Pastor Steve Van Zandt, who preaches at Christian Center of Fort Worth, shared why his church holds the meal sharing and toy giveaway event each year. <laughs> The day began with Mr. and Mrs. Santa Claus arriving on a Haltom City fire truck that gave out free gifts to every child in attendance. The community, uh, you know, in, in my opinion, the, the whole business, if you will, of church is to help and serve other people, to love and serve them. The church usually serves between 800 and 1,200 people. We have kids that were little back in the day that are now bringing their littles, you know, that have grown into this, so it's become like a family tradition. Over at the Dallas 24-Hour Club, which is a home for drug and alcohol addiction recovery, organizers fed residents and the public more than 300 people. The Dallas 24-Hour Club has been in East Dallas for over 50 years and works in transitional living with people in addiction recovery. The line cook for the organization used to be a former resident and says it means a lot to be around people who have become like family on Christmas Day. It means a lot to me to see, see this go down. Um, I was an addict for many years and I spent a lot of time without family. So being able to come to the 2-4 and be surrounded by a community of people who are working towards something you know, greater means a whole lot to me. Now, I went through the program and I've been sober four years now, a little over four years, and, and now my my place here is coming and giving back. I, I'd sponsor um, a bunch of guys here, and and I it, it's kind of a home. For Stephen Chrissy, it's a brotherhood. It's a, it's a brotherhood, and I, I mean, it's the deal. You do go through this, and 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 then the kicker is that you gotta help other people, I mean, and it's and it's not that you have to, but God puts that in your heart to help others. This is Wise Up Foundation's third year serving veterans in need at the Hot Mills for Vets at the Homeless Veterans Services of Dallas. Our main objective is just to give back as much as we can, spread life, spread love, and enjoy. It was founded by Daniel Wise and his two brothers. Wise played for the Cowboys, the Kansas City Chiefs, and the Washington Commanders. Our volunteers are crucial. Um, they come out here every day, and they're here. They work either at the, the social workers at the Veterans Hospital or they're uh, part of this homeless veterans service at Dallas. They had 30 to 40 volunteers Monday. Sheila Wise, mom of the three men who founded Wise Up, is a 22-year veteran and worked at the VA for 15 years as a nurse manager. This is our passion. This is our family passion. We give back to the community and especially to our veterans community. Army veteran Royal Johnson shared what it was like to attend the annual event. Been a food in the stomach. Nice music to listen to. People around and everybody's happy. Johnson shares how much he enjoyed the music, laughter, and be power and love. That's what we need. That's what the world needs. The food. I'm going back for seconds, getting more. Yeah, and if you want to donate to either of these organizations or the church that we spoke to earlier today, you can find this story on our website. That's at fox4news.com. Back to you. All right, Rebecca Butcher, thank you.